why did nobody told me that there is this unspoken rule about sleeping with a man within three days if you don't do that they're gonna check out and I really proven that theory really like you can be the best version of yourself he can like you you can like him but if there is nothing happening within three days they just disappear and you know it's the same cycle over and over again and sometimes you question yourself that the sad reality is uh, in our society everything is sex based no sex no nothing they don't want to be friends they don't want to get to know you they don't care I got a response to that you're probably going for one of the top tier girls, guys who are super good looking all the women want but here's a problem though these guys are not about fighting relationships. They just want to hit it and quit it. One night stands. They're hump boys. Yeah. They're not about settling. They want to be player for life or even be um, the side dude for life. <clears throat> so, like I say, first rule stop going for the top tier guys. And don't get me wrong. If a top tier dude is seriously interested in you, he'll let you know. If he's serious about making you to his wife, trust me, he'll take steps to make sure that you can be his wife. If you're willing to be his wife. <clears throat> other than that, the other 80% of men, they make for great husbands. Or the old adage would say, you want to find a good husband? Check your friend zone. Yes. The best men you can have is in your friend zone, except you'd rather play with the Pookies and Ray Rays, Chad and Tyrells, than to be serious with that one man who will love and cherish you. But the choice is yours, though. You know, either A, keep chasing these Chad, Pookies, Ray Rich, Chad, Tyrells, and dog you out till you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, or simply look at your friend zone or look at the other 80% of men you've been ignoring. You'd probably be surprised. So tell me what you think about that, folks. Hope to hear from you soon. Peace and love.